My name is Leela and I'm a presenter from Boundless Brilliance. Today we are going to be doing a lava lamp experiment with just some easy materials that we can find at home. So today we'll need the following materials to make our lava lamp. We'll need Alka-Seltzer as well as a plastic bottle or mason jar um, that you can put your materials in. You'll need some water, some food coloring, and some vegetable oil. So first, I'm gonna take my plastic container and fill it with oil. So I'm using vegetable oil here and I'm gonna fill it probably to around this height of the bottle. Um, we don't wanna fill it all the way because we need some room for the water but we need to fill it most of the way. Um, I'm just slowly pouring it. You might need an adult to help you out with this because it can get messy. So now that I have my oil poured into my bottle, you can take your water. I've put it in a measuring cup just to make sure that it's easy to pour. And I pour my water in until it's filled, almost filled to the top. So as you can see, the oil is on the top here and the water has sunk all the way to the bottom. This is because you can find out that water is actually heavier than oil. Um, water molecules are packed much more tightly, so a cup of water actually has more mass than a cup of oil. Because the water is more dense, it will sink to the bottom, and then when the two are put together in the same container, um, you'll see that the oil is floating to the top. Polarity is what's keeping the two separate from each other. As you can see, there's almost a line in between the two substances. The water molecules are polar because they have a lopsided electrical charge that attracts other atoms. The end molecule with the two hydrogen atoms is positively charged. The other end with the oxygen is negatively charged. Oil molecules, however, are nonpolar, so they have a positive and negative charge, so they are not attracted to the water molecules at all. This is why the oil and the water don't mix, and they stay separated from each other in the bottle. So next, we're going to want to take our food coloring. Um, you can choose any color of your choice today. I think I'm going to go with blue. So I'm going to take this blue um, food coloring and I'm going to just put a few drops, like two or three or four drops at most is good. Next, you're gonna wanna take your Alka-Seltzer or anti-acid um, or pain reliever type medicine that will work the same as Alka-Seltzer. Um, you want to take a package of it and you don't want to add the whole Alka-Seltzer tablet at once. You want to um, break it apart. So here I am, I'm taking the Alka-Seltzer and I can break it apart into tinier pieces. Then we're going to want to put it in the bottle. And as you can see, it's going to start to bubble up like a lava lamp. I'm going to put another piece in just these tiny pieces so that it can start to slowly react to the oil in the water. In our homemade lava lamp, we used Alka-Seltzer to power the lamp. The Alka-Seltzer reacts with the water to produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles. These stick to the water droplets. The water and gas combo is less dense than the oil, so they rise to the top of the plastic bottle. At the top, the gas bubbles pop and escape into the air, allowing dense water to sink back to the bottom again. Thank you so much for watching this Boundless Brilliance presentation. Subscribe and follow for more.